an ultimate, what an ultimate test. What could I ask for? So even, even the easy tool didn't really help. We had to take up out the front, the plastic. Raise your fist in the air. 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 Okay. Raise your fist in the air. I did not believe did you, what, you did not. I did not think it was going to sound like that. Hey guys, good morning, welcome back. I'm fully invested with this audio system. With this rain, I'm out to get to a local shop. I talked to him, he can help me out with connecting that wire. Stay tuned. Guys, nothing is gonna stop me, absolutely nothing. It's raining, I put my lower rain gear on, my Indy Ridge. I know they keep me completely dry. Let's take the bike out. Actually, it's the first time with the bike in the rain. And obviously, my Harley gloves. Okay, as for, I'll let you know actually how good of a protection the uh, this front fairing has currently I'm going like 20 obviously I'm being getting uh, soaked well the system is supposed to be waterproof so that's also gonna be a, a first uh, test real life test yeah 40 and I'm soaked there's wind on my uh, full face this time full face helmet and water obviously Let me zip up my jacket completely so where we're going today is a place that I heard maybe once or twice but I was never there and it's Gills one of our uh, one of our guys from the team from the crew you know I, I put a post out we have that little chat of ours and I said uh, does anybody know how to do that you know that 16-way connector uh, you know to fix it up and he said yeah I have a friend I have a friend that he just bought he just bought his own uh, garage he's uh, an experienced mechanic and he hooked me up so we're gonna go see the place thank you Gil thank you so much and this is the GPS location that's the place iron horse iron horse very cool how wet I am. My camera, my gear. And uh, like I said today, I'm uh, rocking a jacket that I haven't that I haven't been uh, wearing for like two years. So I won't say much about this jacket, but proudly and humbly try to figure out try to figure out who is entitled to get that jacket and in what circumstances and I'll say no more so this is Mike the new owner of Iron Horse and he's gonna help me out Gil like I said Gil hooked me up with him and he was so accommodating it's Saturday it's literally I just spoke with him last night and he said yeah come over in the morning and we'll take care of it he's going through my step one that you've seen before but he obviously knows and does it a little bit faster than me and he just took over this uh, this shop we're gonna have later on uh, on the channel we'll have a little walk around in his in his garage he just literally walked in here a week ago he just took over a week ago he's still figuring out where the tools are we're looking for that specific little molex uh ex remover remover tool thing he has one at home i mean he has the whole set at home but he's looking for it right now and Adrian just came over. <laughs> he works with Mike. And it was a pain in the butt over here to get. There's literally no wiggle room with this 20-pin 20, 20, uh, 20 connector, we call that. 
and it was a bit of a struggle to physically just get out this, oh my God, this little part, this little, right here, that. So we finally got it out. Adrian is the man over here, that man of the hour, helped us out. Now we're gonna go in and put over here, I think it's a bay number nine. And in the front, it's number 11. This is Gil, this is Gil that hooked me up, that made this whole thing happen. One of the crew, one of the guys. Yeah. I think you have your bike uh, winterized, right? Currently? No, no, no it's, it's, you're, it's in front of my house. It's ready to go. Getting, getting wet. Okay, so he just came to say hello. Watch, watch, watch out, yeah. And we got the front fairing off. Now we're gonna go into the 16-way connector and do, Mike is gonna do his magic over here, right here with this guy, right here. Oh, the seal, right? Mm -hmm. I, I read, I saw somewhere, like, a weather seal or something like that. So even, even the easy tool didn't really help. We had to take up, out the front uh, plastic, uh, white plastic uh, front uh, cover, let's put it that way. Once that popped out, it's easy to push that white, the white plug from the back, push it forward. So it keep, pretty much came out here. That's what this uh, placeholder, the plug, looks like when, when it's uh, extracted. See, it's got a little latch, little latch over here, uh, where you see it, the yellow uh, yellow arrow on the top. That's That latches and doesn't let you pull it out. You see how the plug, uh, where we took the plug out, that's where it's going in. This is going to go in there. Putting the seal back on, and uh, then we'll close it up. Hmm. Well, two, one, thirty, one, two, right? <laughs> Not the ones he built, though. The one uh, burning. It clicks in, right? Yep. Yeah, it just wasn't in far enough, I guess. <laughs> and we heard the snap, and it's in. Now, now we'll see if it actually works. I'm so excited, dude. So we connected the uh, jumper, jumper cable, harness. Here, now the audio system is getting power and this is gonna go to our headlight. And the 16-way connector back in its place over there in the back. So guys, we're going into the 20-way 20, 20, uh, connector. We're going in the same way before, removing the front white part and just moving that out, get better access. There you go. And now it's easier to find that tab. And you see the, where that white plug is on the top right, second from the right, that one? We're just simply going to pull it out towards us. And it's push it in from the back and pull it in towards us. Easier, faster way to do it. There you go. It, uh, Mike pulled it, pushed it from the back. Now he's pulling it in from here. Once it gets that plug out, you see? Perfect, perfect, beautiful. And now the cavity is ready to get that pin. So we're, te so we're test, uh, testing it before we close up everything. We were able to get all the pin uh, wiring done. Now we connected actually the Rockford Fosgate uh, app on my phone. Uh, initially, it like, wants the latest firmware, so it's doing that. Once we get that done, we're going to pop, uh, pop up the volume. <laughs> what are we here now? It's rebooting. And then uh, Lowrider ST. Holy shifts, Lowrider ST. I think it's obvious by now, guys, you've seen the polls. It's probably going to be named Grey Ghost. No need for a pin right now. There, that's that screen. Okay, what's next? What do you do next? You that's can the adjust your EQ. EQ. Status is good for your speakers and amplifier. Right. And this is more for your, like, your volume speed adjustment. Automatic uh, volume control on off. Let's put it on. Now let's play something. I got something to play. Royalty free. Bluetooth is not connected. Yeah, it does find you. HD audio. I need to search for Harley or? It should be HD. HD audio. There it is. There we go. Adjust it yet either. Oh. We'll go to we'll go to the 
Let's go to the equalizer. something with it okay there let's uh let's change one out okay so now, where's the volume pretty loud huh Very impressive, huh? I'm pretty impressed with it. Wow. Now, this is this is a sound guy. This guy is this guy is a, a stereo guy. I'm impressed. Really impressed. I'm gonna put it back together and see. Yeah. Wow. Mike is like, I did not believe you, what, you did not I did not think it was gonna sound like that. Wow. Really cannot believe. We're gonna take it to the highway and you're gonna see it. I'm gonna put a little microphone right near my ear, so it will pick up the sound and then we'll test it in real time, real real world conditions. No, Great Ghost is uh, got, got back together again. We're gonna take it out and ride it. Sounds really, really nice, really, really cool. So thanks to Mike, Adrian, and Willie, Willie for helping me out today. Of course you, Gil, helped no, me out today. Guys, I'm just <laughs> saying, these are the guys right here. And we're gonna test it out now, ride back in the rain, at high speeds and see how well we can hear. So what I did, so what I'm doing is I put, I put a little uh, microphone I put a little microphone near my ear and I'm recording the sound. That's what I, you could actually hear, you know, uh, while you're writing. So it's real, real world conditions. What I hear in my ear is being recorded. I'm gonna put the volume all the way up and that's, uh, that's where we're gonna ride. Let me turn it on. sound we're going right now only 15 so I didn't even tune I don't know what the what the equalizer has uh, set on. I usually like to hear a bass heavy bass cuz I've been hanging with you and it feels like Fifty and it's clear, crisp and clear, unbelievable. Come on, come on, come on. Wow. Don't know what you do, but you make me feel fine. A little crazy for you now, baby. A little, a little, a little, a little crazy for you now. A little crazy for you now.
but I guess it's the way the speakers are positioned. They're positioned right, like right in front of me and the same, same width of my ears, I guess. I don't know. Really, really nice. on your shoulders you notice how we both have gotten the only thing I wish they had is uh, some kind of control because I have to go through my phone and for now for that I need to reach out to my phone and it's wet right now so if I had a little top over here a volume up and down that would be perfect so windy today, not only rain. Okay, I'm at 50 and it's clear, clear and crisp. No buffeting, no noise like through the wind. I'm with the full face helmet, obviously. Lowrider ST, there's no question, you get one of these. You get the Rockford Fosgate audio system. It's amazing. And it's waterproof. Look at us, we're in pouring rain. What ultimate, what an ultimate test. What could I ask for? Couldn't ask for more. Life test, that's the word. Real life test. Wow, I'm open I just opened up the visor. got home I'll tell you what this is amazing beautiful sound system I want you to see where I actually put the microphone it was right here in my ear so whatever I hear comes to my ear that's what you guys hear thank you for watching guys 
I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, peace out. Right.